everybody welcome to tech shamans welcome 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 it's monday 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 I love are that. you ready to rumble not dum, really dum, 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 dum. so you know what i'm gonna ask right yep do you have a good father's day i had an awesome father's day Although I was informed that I was not allowed to get swords for Father's Day until I had well, like X number of days without uh, hurt, you know, stabby stabbing uh, myself. You gotta have like the what is exactly. it? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Workplace injury signs. Zero yeah. days injuries. Yeah, exactly. Ah, yes. I, you I, you have a tendency to stab yourself in the legs. I have a tendency to use a lot of sharp objects, and sometimes I walk into them, or they walk into me, or whatever <laughs> happens, and. I, I mean, ever since I was 11 years old, I've been cutting my hands on knives and things that, you know, by using them inappropriately. I'm literally going to make you a sign that says <laughs> How many days place, until Maxi farm place injuries. Farm place injuries. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, here, here we go. Bunny trail number one. Okay. Right, so have you seen Clarkson buys a farm? No. Okay. Well, it's on your it's on yes. your most hated network. Yeah, that but explain a lot. <laughs> it um, he literally goes into this thing where he had to buy farm equipment. Yes. And he went down this whole he and he gave this statistics that there's more people die or get injured on a farm than any other workplace accidents combined. Absolutely, because you have moving parts with minds of their own. And there was this little guy. He, so he went. Was he was going through an auction? To, he was going to buy some mm-hmm, stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And um, there was this one guy who was talking to. He goes, he goes, and he was just saying that statistic out loud. And this little guy walked by. You know what I mean? He went, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, he could he uh, have not planned that better? Yes, exactly. Oh, I mean, he probably did, but that's besides the point. It was, still, <laughs> yeah. it was still funny as hell. So, did you uh, have a good Father's Day? Yes, I did. What did you do? Mm, I don't. I just laid laid around and Man. kind of been lazy for wow. half the day and decided I'd cook some stuff on the grill, even though my wife offered to cook on the grill for me. Oh, there you go. I couldn't oh, do it. That yeah. was sweet. I understand. Yeah, yeah. No, so we sat in the pool, swam a little yeah. bit. Just yeah, yep. just had some time with the kids. And yeah. I got a drill press. You got a drill press. Ooh. I got a drill press, <laughs> and I got a uh, new air t- air in um, air. Compressor? No, yeah. no, I got the compressor. I got okay. the. Uh, he, my son got me another set of uh, gadgets to go on the end. Ah, okay. So I don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah. keep switching it back and forth. Oh, nice. And yeah, so now I have something to stay in the house. I have some. I have a small compressor that that lives in the RV. Got it. So I have that and stuff like that. And oh, that's then, handy, um, handy. then I went shooting with uh, Dylan. He got oh, really? a. He got an AR. Got a DB. 15 i think it's really an ar okay and um so we went to range and shot that yeah and then um hold on I, hold on i'm being triggered don't be triggered because here's a bigger trigger i got a new taurus 45 who had to go pick it up wednesday you know the the thought of you heard about the mcclatchies right no being forced to turn oh. in their ar-15s what and, and he's like Okay, no problem. I've already ordered another one. You got a new one. <laughs> He's like, so what? I mean, awesome. talk about there. There's the moronic nature. You must turn that gun in. Right. I'll just buy another one. Okay. I mean, they like, turned they turned it in and upgraded. If I have to, darn. Geez. I know. Thanks. Yeah. I really, you know, I mean, that one was old anyway. It was yeah. So a friend, a friend of one. mine has been giving me 45 ammo. I've got like, I, I thought I had like four or five boxes. I've got 12 boxes of. Oh my God! Forty-five AC. Oh my which God! Which I can't use in my judge. It's too little. Please, please don't announce that on on live TV like this. Why? Because Adam's being <laughs> triggered. Um, poor, poor triggered. So, so poor you triggers. can't use it in the new gun? 
Uh, no, no, I bought the gun so I could use it. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's how it works. That makes sense. You get an abundance of that. I didn't buy, buy it. it was, I understand. It was Father's, it was Father's Day. Day gift. It was a yes. gift, right? So Good job. If it's a yeah, gift for yourself. Can't pick Wednesday. So now, now I got a beautiful kind of set of new dice. Let's go shooting. Yeah, I got a beautiful set of new dice. You saw those. Dude, yeah. those were awesome. Oh, the, the blue crystalline You're bring those inside the metal. Oh, my talk, God. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, then, uh, and then I got a nice Panama hat. I like to wear stuff that's like natural material. I hate polyester. I hate yeah. any of that. I got two hats yesterday, actually. The Panama was the, the Panama is really cool because it's actually made of paper. It's a real Panama hat. I have one that rains. Uh, it's a coated paper. So it gets floppy. And so no, it doesn't. Apparently, it, it lasts pretty that's, well. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, but then um, I also got a canvas one that's 100% cotton canvas. Oh, and that one looks really nice. with a leather strap yeah, and a yeah, cotton yeah, can. I'm yeah. like, this is what I want yeah. in my hats. I yep. can't stand Those plastic. Are nice. Those are very, very yeah. nice. So I got two hats and some dice and a lot of food and drink <laughs> at Raglan Road. And a feather. And, and a, a feather, feather to put in my cap. <laughs> feather to put in your cap. <laughs> I, I have all the feathers I need. I have chickens. Uh, <laughs> and we have all kinds of exotic chickens, so I get the wildest Dude, he color does. patterns. He's got, yeah. he's got these chickens that look like peregrine falcons. Their heads. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing looking. Yeah. He, and he's just not letting you know that he shaves them. <laughs> just, <laughs> Once a week, he shaves the tops of their heads. Just so kidding. that they continue to look like peregrine falcons. Yeah. You know? They're actually it's very like cool. So Naked chicken heads. So it was, uh, it was a good week of uh, for tech. Wow. What a week for tech. Holy crap. Um, and we're... As the week continues. We're only... I mean, we have 12... Topics. I'm not sure we'll get to. It. We have to get to the. But fail. some of the topics have you know five or six topics within them. So. It does. Actually, yeah, they really crazy. do. So we're gonna we're gonna jump out of the first thing in right here. Boom. Is, right. So, kind of angers me that they're getting a better break over there than we are. But I guess Bitcoin and current cryptocurrency is more stronger in the U.S. right now than it is anywhere. So Nvidia and AMD graphic cards experience biggest price price drop in Europe. Yep. In Europe. Uh huh. So, down about fifty percent. And so, why Europe? Some uh, closer to the base manufacturing, um, yeah. easier to get quantities there faster, less demand there perhaps, um, and so they've got surplus. Now, how long will it take them to go? You, you know, because really, it's it's about arbitrage. Okay, um, and so how long will it take for people to be buying from Europe and selling over here? Right. Okay, just because you've got that much of a price difference, and that will equalize it out in very, very short order. So, God, I hope so. yeah, yeah. Once, once people start to arbit arbitrage this stuff, it's we're, done. We're holding off on two machines right now because I am not going to spend two grand on a on a two hundred dollar chip on a freaking. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. mean, we we were we could have bought these before the pandemic. We, we could have bought the twenty eighties. Yeah, yeah, for like six six seven hundred bucks. Yeah, I am not paying two grand for these stupid things. No, it's not happening. Nope. It's not happening. So there that's you just go. The dumbest. When thing your I graphics have. card costs more than a complete build, that's right? Pretty, that's, uh, that's just getting pretty bad. No, I understand. Yeah. You know, people because you know my 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 nerd our tech guys our nerdy guys are like, well, it's not a bad it's not a bad deal, but it is a bad deal. Yeah, you especially know, I mean, since in a couple of months it's going to be back, you know, closer to normal. Yeah, I'll probably yeah, they, yeah it'll yep. probably be seven months before we build these machines because we are we are now moving. Yes, and so we have no got point. to ramp up our our system over there. Yep. Plus, we got to build out a different system for our live stuff, so that mm. way we don't get our butts handed to us. I'm sorry. That's it's, okay. It's at eleven o'clock yawn. It for. always happens, dude. We're up and yep. you know we're up and going early. So um, oh yeah. But yeah, that is just to me. That is that's. You would figure. I mean, I understand. I understand what's going on. Yep. They're going to ride that wave of stick it to the to the consumer as much as possible, like gas for prices. as long as possible. Just like gas prices. Oh, just like you know, okay, like oil. They go up like fast. Beef, they drop very slowly. Wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. like when we talk about lumber. Yeah. I got to build a chicken coop. I know me sharp objects. Nobody. Here no we comments. go again. No we'll comments. More, more uh, just transition back over to plastic. Right. <laughs> right. It's, it's, uh, and we got lumber. a studio to build, so the lumber is going to kick our rear ends. What it normally yeah, it would have cost us two or three thousand dollars is going to wind up costing seven, five or six thousand yeah. at least. It yeah. sucks. So, yeah. Um, so, but anyway, I, I digress. I digress. You? Yeah, I know. Never. So, iPhone bug makes it easy for someone to break your Wi Fi. <laughs> did you yes. read this? Yes, I did. I think it's awesome. 
Why do you think it's awesome? Why? Because you can go home and rename your, your Wi-Fi so that if your neighbors ever try to jump in on it, it'll kill their phones. But That's right. Okay, so but the, so it's not going to be a patch to fix it. It's just going to be... <laughs> Don't use that name. Um, but yeah, if if you put that name in as as a Wi-Fi router, and it's it, it's an obscure like BN percentage, BN percentage, BN percentage, yeah. percentage, percentage, BN percentage. It's some stupid combo. Okay, that nobody would ever actually name their but Wi-Fi. But what is it about that combo that's making it? It's a reset code in the system, um, and the way the the software works. Now, what's more concerning about this is that. Um, the phone itself is taking in this name and then taking an operational instruction from that name. Just from a name. Just from the name in order... And, and But what it is is that um, that particular string of code in that name, when it's input into that field, is an instruction. So now hackers know this. Yes. And so we just, everybody what just do know. they piggyback on this... Okay, they can go, wait a minute, there's a way in the back door. Of course, I'm certain Apple's already fixed it. Yeah, they're okay? going to fix it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it'll take them seconds to go, uh-oh, security patch that thing. You know, who the hell would have thought? But that's, that's why you run tests and why it's really good that people put this stuff out there. And, and the very fact that, you know, what is it? Like um, something like... 20% of Android phones are up to date on their updates. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, 40% of Microsoft phones and, and it's like 97% of Apple phones. So it's are just, up to but date. it's just the iPhone that does it. Oh, uh, it's the iPhone, the iPad, and. Or uh, Macs, or Macs, or. Uh, I don't like think Macs are. IOS. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, it's stuff running iOS, basically. Yeah, because it it's, yeah. uh, it's percentage sign P, percentage sign, percentage sign S, percentage sign S, percentage Beep. sign S, there percentage sign N. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a stupid combo. Why would combo. you join something that looks like that? If that's the name, well, you're like, no, nah, it's just I'm not joining that. I don't know what that is. Well, because you want free Wi-Fi. And oh, so you do. What do you call it? Free Wi-Fi, you name it free Wi-Fi. No, that's, okay. no, no, no. You, you have, have to, to name, it that. name it that, right? Okay, but you go. Oh my God, it's unlocked. Wow, well, let me try it. Boom, it's pure bait. You know what? What? What would be nice is if you. Android and Google phones would then go in and, and do something similar. So that <laughs> no, no, all, all you do is set up a little hotspot that has no internet connectivity, just just to break people's phones all day. <laughs> exactly. Is that real? You could do that. Yeah, well, you just oh, set it up. You just have no yeah. no God, no uh, network connection. Just let it sit there and broadcast an SSID, and people go to connect to it, and it breaks their phones. They're like, oh, well, I told you, you shouldn't be connecting to yeah. things you're not supposed to. Wow, that's amazing. To. Yeah. See, so I, I'll go. be I'll be the first to admit that you know when it, I'm I may be the video shaman, but sometimes. I know enough to be super dangerous on everything else. I'm just saying. Just enough. My son, my just son enough. gets this. Um, my son, every every wireless network he sets up or or um, or uh, access point, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it always ends up being it hurts when IP. <laughs> IT uh, hurts. Yeah, I'm like, why do you do that? He goes. H E R Z, that would be good. That IT. is exactly what it is. Yeah. Yep. It will H E R T Z. H E R T Z. Uh, when I P. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's like, and it's W E N, not W E N. Oh, wow. That way, wherever he goes and he's in a building, he knows he's going to connect automatically. <laughs> <laughs> he set Everybody's going to jump on that bad Oh, yeah. That anyway. one was awesome. But, you know, I, I mean, I guess that's kind of weird that someone found that code and goes, so let me just Yeah, you know, it's people. funny who, who who sat there and compiled uh, a bunch of, a list of SSIDs to connect to and said, hey, this sounds like a good one. Oh, crap, it just messed that up. Yeah. Right. What are we going to do? Right. Uh, it sounds more to me like somebody did what we were suggesting, and that is an Apple programmer knew that was going to happen, yeah. so he said his up. And told a couple of people about it, and, and or went out and plugged one into the wall at uh, you know Starbucks, <laughs> and just started screwing with everybody. Oh, that's so funny! <laughs> uh, I think that's an. I, you know what? It was happening in April. This is an April Fool's joke. <laughs> I, you know, when I see it, when I see something unlocked, I won't click on it. Yeah, because typically that is somebody that's looking for that's fishing guys. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So.
Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Not happening. Well, there's all that right. story. So, yeah, just so. Now you all know better. Don't always just click on the free open one. So we're going to no. jump into Anthony's thing here is um, a heartwarming tale of social media success and how we learn to subvert the rules and new traffic to clients' websites. Yeah. Facebook groups. Facebook okay, groups. so I have to admit, I have to admit. You have to? I hate okay. Facebook groups. I have a gun at your head. Uh, <laughs> I did. Yeah. I hate Facebook groups. Okay. <laughs> because That's fine. These groups get in there, and then it just becomes a totalitarian society. And yeah, it can, but that's okay. And I'm like, nope, I'm out. Yeah, and and that's what we were dealing with was one of the largest groups in the country for this particular client. Did not allow links of any type. Did not allow backlinks, hot links, any well, kind we of links. Had, we and had. to your own stuff. Right. So if if you were answering a question, you had how to, you had a oh, you know, here's a great resource. That was fine. But if if you wanted to do any kind of self promotion whatsoever in the least, bang, you're dead. Uh, and you know, like I said, this is a heartwarming tale. Uh, that this was a new client who had come in, and um, you know, we'd set up a bunch of her stuff and taught her how to do that, how to do the the backlinks and you know so on, so that people would come to the website, read the articles, read the material, you know, and decide to opt in. The the issue became. Um, when uh, this huge group out there, which was right up her alley, was absolutely prohibited it. So I, I suggested, look, just go in and take take your posts that you're normally going to write, okay, and put some of it. Put an excerpt. Put enough that it makes sense. Write something original right from the heart. Okay, make it valuable and just go in and share it with no strings attached. And let's see what happens. And that's what she did. She's a new member in the group and she goes in and her third post blew up. Absolutely blew up with responses, with people contacting her, private messaging her, everything under the sun. Oh my God, you wrote this. This is fantastic. I had no idea. You know, you were out there. Where can I get more? They're asking her. Mm-hmm. And the, the admin on the board actually sent her a message saying, by the way, next time sign your piece because there's a lot of confusion. People think it's written by, you know, one of the, you know, you, you know one of the pros that, you know, everybody else looks to, like an Elon Musk or something. It's like, no, this is your own work. And so make sure you sign it, okay, at the end by da-da-da-da. And so, you know, she was, honestly, it was Sunday night. It was Father's Day. I got three emails and five texts. She was just so excited sending me screen caps. She just couldn't contain herself. Because she's like, oh, my God, look at all this that's happening. And I'm like, it's because you're giving. It's because you're giving with no strings attached. And people, people res- that resonates with people. And so that's really uh, the, kind of the lesson here. You know, sure, there, there's a way to, to get around Facebook group rules if you want to look at it in the mercenary aspect. And, but what you're really doing is you're engaging in... Uh, the the best kind of content marketing, and that is, hi, I'm going to establish myself as somebody that knows what the hell I'm talking about, and I don't have to charge you, and I don't have to, you know, put a link in at the bottom in order to make it worth my time. And so this group with like 70,000 members is just pummeling her now, you know, looking for more information. And so, oh, how good. do you? Yeah, I, I mean, how do you knock that? Now, see that? Yeah. Okay, so three see, posts. That is boom, a success done. story of a group. Yep. Adam and I have both been in yes. this weird situation. We belong to two groups. Are, there, are they two groups now? Are they are they, they splintered off into three groups, where one didn't like the other and then the other one's bad mouth and the other one and the other one's bad mouth and the other one and it's just like yeah it's ridiculous and then the problem is is one group says don't use anybody in this group and so i always fire back well i'm in that group i don't care who you are who you what you do as long as you treat me right and you do a good job i'll sit there and use you but i'm not going to sit there and go to another group and tell another group not to use anybody in that group that's that's what i'm talking about and then you oh, don't want to yeah. get out of the groups because you, there are you you know deep in, deep inside those groups that are good people. Sure, 
Like Adam and I are both in the in both groups. In both actually, groups, all yeah. Three groups, actually, yeah. I think we are. And and I've done business with and, both of you. And when and you're both you fantastic. and when you sit there, but, yeah. but the problem is, is you can't sit there and badmouth other people. No, that's the no. that's the group. That's no. why all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? Sometimes it's not. It's just not cool being in group. Yeah, and I mean now, you know, in in one Same, of those yeah. groups. They have a, you may only post your self-promotion on Mondays and Wednesdays. Well, I think it was a Tuesday or a Thursday. I, I did up a questionnaire, you know, or I asked a question. That's what I, I didn't do a questionnaire. I just asked a question. And I said, hey, what are your biggest marketing challenges that you have, you know, today? Mm-hmm. So all I did was ask that question in a business group. And my post got pulled because it was considered self-promotion. What are your biggest challenges is not self-promotion. Mm-mm. You know, that's me asking a question about business marketing in a group that's supposed to be about business marketing. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't get it. It's so. just like this doesn't even make sense. So groups this, this are, to me is a conversation starter. But groups are good Yeah, if they're used correctly. Yes. Yeah. And if and they're run correctly. If they're run correctly. And, I mean, here you had the admin of the group helping the person – Enhance their experience, okay, and their the, the, their takeaway by saying no, no, no. Next time, sign it, okay. It eliminates confusion, and people need to know this is you. Wow, you know, this is a group that's being run right, right. And it so just, that's yeah, that that was a very cool experience. And so it is out there, and you can do it, and just stop focusing on you know, am I going to get business out of this one post? Because you don't know which one it'll be that'll freaking blow up on you. Right. But they're never going to blow up on you if you aren't out there participating. Right. On a regular basis with really helpful information. So grow, grow, um, so groups are good. Yes, they can be. Okay. It's it, they're like people. Some groups are horrendous. I, I really want to read. I want to read what's on that screen there because I'm sure it's wrong. Yes. No, it's right. 60, um, yeah, no, they just made me Gen X, and I'm a baby boomer. Damn it! Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's off by a year. So <laughs> no, actually, 65 is is Gen X. It says 63. No, 65. Oh, 65. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, those new glasses, old man. Listen, <laughs> listen. Shut up. Listen, boomer. Shut up. Listen, boomer. Nope. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that to somebody. I'm okay, Xer. I'm an Xer. Okay. Anyway, Xer. so um, Xer. So Adam, you sent in two articles, and I'm like, I combined yeah. them. Yeah. Because we have been talking about the reveal. Uh, <laughs> right. Of the new font. Uh, the new when font. is the new font coming out? We get a new font. Hot damn. So yeah. So. Basically, June twenty fourth, Microsoft will go ahead and re- reveal the uh, you know. Are they going to about... reveal it or are they going to release it? No, they're going to reveal what they're doing. Um, I don't believe it's a full release yet. They'll probably start putting public beta out there um, for yeah. people that haven't Soon joined on. Yeah. But uh, right now, there is an image rolling around out there on the internet where you can install it, and uh, there's a lot of guys in the IT field have already started installing it. <clears> and really? Say, Look, Windows 11, you know. Ha, I can't well, what are they that. calling it? Do we know? It is. Or is that what we're going to find out? So far, um, from some of the articles I've been reading, uh, Microsoft is going to announce. They're going to call it 11Zs. And they're going to call it you know, Windows 11. 11Zs. Yeah. Lenses, 11Zs. I like 11Zs. You That's know, I've been 11Zs. 11Zs. That's <laughs> 11 so, Z easy. No, so just wait. S I E S. We spoke 11Zs. about font changes. Right? Uh, <laughs> we spoke yes, about font changes. Right? Yes, that's well, the, that is the that, big update. No, there there's some icon changes. Like they've taken the ex, the the recycling bin and they rotated it 15 degrees. Whoa! Yes. Oh my. Yes. Oh my so God! Do you know how many that, Microsoft programmers that took? There's some memes. <laughs> a thousand. There's like memes out there. Windows, you know, Windows 10. The guys like looking this way, and then you see the recycling bin looking this way, and then the guys looking this way, and then it says Windows 11, and then the trash bin's looking this way. It's hilarious, and it's like, oh my um, God. but if you look at it, they've taken the dock. Base. Well, I'm saying the dock because we're going to Mac OS, yeah. but you know they take the taskbar. Yeah. And they put it into a dock like feature. Oh. They've taken the to the, the left hand justification on on yeah. the, on the taskbar, moved it to the middle like the dock on Max. On Max. Wow. And there there is an option to set it back. Thank God. Because <laughs> that will that will I that don't is want to mess a lot I, of people. I, up. I lo- okay, so 
Okay, I'm going. I'm I'm going to confess to something I did not know. All right, so it drives me crazy when I can't go in there and do a fast key, just to open something up, like on a Mac. I can, yeah. do, you know, control or a command, blah blah blah. And I wanted to be able to get. There's certain programs that we use this literally all the time. So I come to find out that I can hit Windows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, depending on how my right. toolbar is set up. Yeah, did not know that. So we have all, all of our computers are now set up. We can go Windows 2. You know. And the one thing that we use, and which, which drives uh, um, uh, Windows Insane, is we still use the snipping tool. I don't yeah. like the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah but the I new, love the, one. the snipping tool. Yeah. I use it all the time. Yeah, so you have that down in your toolbox. I box. have it. It's, it's, well, on this machine, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you, 6, you 7, still 8, see 9 the snipping over. Tool, right? That is so much faster than hovering with your mouse counting across. Well, when I'm in the middle of the program, yeah. when I'm typing and stuff, and yeah. I want to do it, I just go, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Now, the snipping tool is supposed to be going away. Yeah, better and not. That's, Ooh, well, Windows. Uh, another benefit of 11Zs. Yeah. <laughs> to stress out John. Yeah, so exactly. I have, I still have people coming in with like Windows 7 machines and be like, well, you know, Windows 10, I, you know, I know I need to go ahead and get a different machine. I want to go ahead and to upgrade to Windows 10. I'm like, you, you know, they're like, oh yeah, it's been out now for a while. I'll go ahead and I'm like, you do know there's like another operating system getting ready to launch. Yeah. I mean, you have kind of, you know. Got, you that, let the that boat sail there, buddy. Blow uh, right by you there, buddy. I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah. But wow. um, they're going to be also removing no, a lot of I'm, legacy. I'm ready to go get a smartphone. I'm tired of this flip phone. <laughs> they, they are going to be re- they are going to be removing a lot of legacy features in the yeah. operating system. And I've yet to to find out what pieces those <laughs> Gotta are. Got to watch in the you 24. Mean like, like like functionality. Yeah, like like that. That's legacy. You know, stuff that they'll the get. The control rid of. panel is legacy. <sighs> Could you imagine? Not being able to get into your control panel to find all your settings, you know, just yeah. search for it. Well, what if the search bar decides to crash and you can't search no right. more? Exactly. You know, you know. Oh my it, God. It, yeah. So no. yeah, they're going to take away a lot of yeah. legacy features. Hey, just just out of curiosity, I know on a Mac it's Shift Command Four, and you can you know do a screen cap just like that. Um, what is it on a PC? What is it on a PC? You know, I don't really pay attention. I don't think there I, is. Because I always use. The, oh wow. I've always used the snipping tool. Personally. Yeah. I've. I, I, I used tools. to, but then but then when I converted over to Mac, I'm like, oh my god, Shift Command Four, pfft, that's it, and you got mm-hmm. it, and it, and it, it, it for from mine it, it it drops it into a I set it so that it goes into my uh, Dropbox. Yeah, you can tell it where to go. Yeah, and you can tell it where to go, and it goes straight I get told straight to into go something called called screen caps in my Dropbox. There you go. Yep. Boom. Done. So I know where to look for all my screen caps all Why the time. Why are you so far over there? You think you got cooties or something? No, I don't. Now, got now you, you made got Rob mad. There we go. He just moved. Yeah, he just moved. Ah, everything. my left arm. I'm sorry, Rob. Into John's. Uh, I tell you what. Shot, I'll keep so. my head over I hate, here, I hate but I'll move my shots. body over here. Right. <laughs> Is that better? Right. No, that hurts. Okay. That's not too bad. But I guess you know Windows 11 name confirmed in a fresh leak from Microsoft. Oh, so it yeah. is 11 Z's. Yeah, it is 11 Z's. So oh, we'll, we'll right. see what we'll see what they're going to talk about. You know, maybe they'll. We're not doing any more Windows updates. It's just an it's just an update. And of also we're seeing there's a good possibility there's gonna be a continued upgrade path from Windows seven to eleven. Seven, eight, nine. I think I think God. what this is saying is that the early yeah, versions of afraid. ten the early versions of ten have so many problems and so many issues that by calling this eleven, they can just go ahead and deprecate those and say yeah. we're not gonna support them anymore. Goodbye. Yeah, we just without saying, but you're still in ten. Why don't you fix the ten I have? No, 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 they're, no, no, we're in eleven, well, so we're done. That would be Goodbye. like doing something smart. No, and that is what they're doing. There's gonna it's most not likely that it's it, smart. It's that it's it's it's. You if know, you're running insidious. ten, there's gonna be a forced upgrade, most likely. Yeah, they're just gonna say, you know, here. Yep. Yeah, this this is the way that this is their upgrade path. Is you know, uh, you know, Windows Update is the upgrade path. It's stupid. I think that's what's gonna happen. You'll you'll see it show up in the Windows Update, and that's it. Oh, all right. If you say so, and that'll be it. So, hey, did you know that the internet's broken? Uh, wow. Yeah. It's defunct and it needs saving. Doesn't everything? Frank McCourt wants to build a blockchain-based alternative to Facebook. Yep. So a real estate mogul has, has a $100 million plan to save the internet. Where know. you own your data and you can sell it when you want to. We've been talking about this for six months. I know, but I didn't know it was that broken. Um, 
it depends on how you define broken. I mean, if you think having your data mined and sold off and other people make money off you okay. as being functional, but do you great. think do you really think that it'll never get back to the exact same thing eventually? Have you ever noticed that? All these people come in, oh, I've got a brand new like okay, so Oh yeah. The reason we didn't like MySpace is because it got so ad laden that it was just hard to go on there and look at. Facebook and now Facebook up. is the same Man, thing. Oh, we're not going to do that to you. Now Facebook is so bad. Every third Adelaide, post it is an ad. Sucks. Yep. Right? In my feed. Every so, third post. So now post. we have someone who's going to make a new Facebook. Really? I'll guarantee. Right. I will put. I will. I will put my life on the line saying I'll guarantee you within five years it'll be ad laden. No, but it's not about not being ad laden. This is about you owning your data. And you deciding to sell it to people because it's yours, not them. Okay, but you've selling never your, owned data. your data. Yeah, but this is this saying you can. That's the oh, point. That's, that's why it's broken, yeah. because you don't own your data. You've been data mined from day one by Google when it first came out, and that's what started the well, whole data mining da- thing. Actually, you were data mined when AOL came out. Right, but which was first? AOL. You were data mined when your social security number was generated. You shut up, man. You bet you were. You shut up. The government no attention been to that data microchip in my you arm since day one. Of course, I mean, and As so three-year-old. You know, it's it, it's one thing to be data mined. Third it's month, he thing. fell and broke his, his his little collarbone or something, and the government's like broke collarbone. <laughs> How do you think they identify bodies? Think about your dental records. Anthony had new teeth put in five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know the insurance. I can't the believe the U.S. government takes just... out an insurance policy on us. We have accidental insurance every time we hurt ourselves. Right. We, could, we have to pay the medical bill, but the government gets paid out. That sucks. Son of a bitch. They got Aflac on us. Aflac. <laughs> Aflac. Wow. Um, we went that's... down a weird path there. I, I loved it, though. The that's corporation awesome. is running us. It is, man. It is. <laughs> I, I'm lost. Sorry. It's okay, man. Because I know how things really work, and so I have no idea what they're talking about. Pay no mm-hmm. attention to those. He two literally guys has no idea because he really doesn't know how things work. I just go. None with of the us flow. do. I just go. With we the just flow. assume we know because we're in the matrix. We are in the matrix. We are in the matrix. I'm, I'm, okay. Have you not? Have no, nobody figured that out yet? Of course, we figured it out. See, I mean, it, it goes way the hell. I mean, e- Elon Musk is out there saying it. People are going, "Wow, what an idiot!" He's like, "No, really, this is pretty much how it works." So okay. much of what we call reality is just a shared, agreed upon matrix of data Existence. that we all just go, "Yeah, that's how it works." All right, we're gonna we're gonna jump go to number next. eight. We're gonna go to number eight because yeah. exactly what you said. Number eight. We're gonna number eight. We'll come back to number seven because number seven was a viewer. Request right, which is yep. kind of freaking awesome that we have a viewer is asking questions. Yep, yep, NASA is yep. keeping a watchful eye. Yeah, uh, where did it go? <laughs> oh my God, did you see that? It literally changed. They didn't want you to read. The no, article. John, you may not read that article. Uh, NASA is keeping a watchful eye on base Jeff Bezos and other billionaires competing in the space race, according <laughs> hey, to the agency. What about chief. what? Did you hear about? It's the, not actually NASA. It's actually the IRS, because if they have too much of a tax bill, they shouldn't be leaving the country. They shouldn't have their passport, and they're leaving the planet. And with the new global taxes they're putting into place, you know, these guys are just trying to escape that. And you think, I don't know what the hell's going on. And now we have Bill Nelson, you know, Bill Nelson, who is the new NASA administrator, right? Oh, my God. I know. Is really keeping an eye on Jeff Bezos, because they have a petition going to keep him from yeah, outer space from because he back. he's going to become a freak. He their life right that he has a secret space station up there. He's going up there and he's going to become a um an, a, a evil a, villain. A sovereign. No, no. A sovereign. It, he's oh, not villain. installing a space station up there. He's going to put an Amazon warehouse on the moon, <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna fulfill orders to Mars. Oh my God! Overnight, overnight, overnight delivery to Mars. Uh, <laughs> he's going up there to look at the landscape to verify. He's real what, estate shopping. He's real That's estate, what he's real doing. estate shopping. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, he, he could have space stations in orbit that you know you order something. They're like they're like okay, cool. in, in, in in two hours we'll be over the house <laughs> and go, and it just fires down at your house. <laughs> 
Next thing you know, uh, parachute opens up right over your house. <laughs> Thanks. Could you yeah, imagine writing into customer service and you got this melted ball? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, but it landed on my roof. It caught my house on fire. My beef showed up already cooked. To Thanks. which, to which Bezos replies. I have no idea what you're talking about. My case of water <laughs> arrived frozen. <laughs> with with burned plastic all around it. What's up with that? I'm not worried uh, about I am not uh, worried about Richard Branson at all. But I would be worried about Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Uh, Musk does not does not frighten me in the least. Bezos, I'm sorry. The man Dude, the man is the ultimate hey, Bond villain. Hey, Musk, Musk is gonna go up there and find his damn car and jump in right. and take off. Yeah. I mean, Musk actually does good things for people. Bezos is like, how do I screw everybody now? You know, I, I mean, that's all there is. I really don't think he wakes up going, how do I screw everybody now? No, he just wants. That's to the end of the day. After he's angered. Right. Well, well, he he's creating his to do list for the for tomorrow. <laughs> right. Uh, Take so, over the world. There we Isn't go. he supposed to be going up Dinky. next next month or yeah. in a month? Oh my God, that'll be awesome. I, I I'm actually going to watch that one. And so I wonder who he, who his pinky is. <laughs> Pinky and the brain. I think we got that with I'm Branson. Uh, <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious! Oh my god! So, so what do we do today? Eli? I had a watcher. I had. A, I had a, yeah. Actually, I met the guy. Yeah. Talking about what we do. Yep. And he said, "This said, Starlink yep. dishes will shut down if they reach 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like leaving your phone on the dashboard in your car. Yeah. I mean, they, the the satellites are going to shut down. But these things sit out in freaking. Arizona and New Mexico. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and what was funny was I had a friend of mine post the, the car temp. She lives in, in Nevada and her car temp is reading 131 degrees. You know, and so you're looking at this thing at, at 120, this thing shuts down. And I mean, that makes sense. Well, yeah, but in her car, it's going to be hotter. No, 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 no. This is the car temperature. It's not reading the interior. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. This is what it's saying the exterior temp is. And of course, she's probably on a highway, so it's higher. But seriously, though, any of these things um, are going to be subject to heat considerations. What this guy did, I mean, smart man, he walked out and he put a sprinkler on it and it started running again. Perfect. Yeah. Then he turned his sprinkler off. Uh, and it stopped running. It's like, well, why didn't you just leave the sprinkler on? Uh, you know, I mean, if it works, it works. Um, but what he's actually going to do is he's going to go out and get some of the uh, 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 shade cloth that you can get you big go. rolls of. Yeah. And he's going to put that over, you know, create sort of an awning well, over his satellite. Wouldn't that, make, wouldn't that make it like Dish TV and Direct TV where it's got a covering and it's not going to see no. it? He'll no. only lose 10 megs a second. Yeah, <laughs> only. But I love. I actually love the name that they gave the dish. Can, can you find it in there? It, it's like down towards the bottom. Dishy, Dishy McFlatface. I think was the name of it. God, is is, 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 is what really? they call. Yeah, Dishy, Dishy McFlatface. Uh, <laughs> I did not yep, read is, that part. Yep, down. Dishy McFlatface is is the in, inside name at at um, uh, you know Musk World. Um, for so for their funny. satellite dishes, dishy McF- dishy McFlatface. Ah. Well, okay, I love that. Woo. I'm sorry, I love the sense of humor. That is a good at sense all of Elon's companies. Right. I mean, come on, putting putting elevator music on your Tesla <laughs> because law says it has to make a sound when it's stopped. Well, you oops. know, so that people Air know it's still over there. It to sound. Yeah, when it's stopped. Oh. Yeah. That would be, so I would want you the, stop and it plays elevator music. I would outside. like to have the ice cream truck. Dun, 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 dun. That will get you shot by some kids who grew up wow. and are terrified. It's like why why is there an ice cream truck in my neighborhood at ten PM? <laughs> okay, you know. And Should I be, live in a rural neighborhood. And why so is there's that nobody out outside there? my house? Yeah. The guy with binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 and what's dun, 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 dun. this hold on, and what's this new Wi Fi network I can connect to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now see I I would I would like to get one of these for my RV. Tell me about the, it. But it's t- it's just a very bulky system. No, oh, yeah, it is right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but they they I have guess some pretty Dishy pretty McFlat good space speeds. is pretty big. Oh yeah. yeah he, been... He's trying for a gigabyte. Up. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's what it's said. Up or down. Most people want down. Now that song is stuck in my head. Great. I did read it a while ago. He is trying. No, he's trying for gigahertz. Gigahertz down. Yeah, gigahertz down. Yeah. Which that's not bad. 
I mean, right now I'm I'm running on you know twenty percent of that yeah, in we my can, home we can just say with five G. You say goodbye to the Dish Network. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, because at that point, just stream. And most people are getting away from TV anyway. No, they're not. Uh, yeah, they are. No, they're not. They're streaming. It's too expensive. What is? Well, all the so, subscriptions for yeah. everything. So, so here's the thing. There's a lot of lot of stations now starting to come out and not charge. And, and they're collecting their ad revenue just like, look at Newsmax. Mm, okay? Yeah. Newsmax is doing exactly that. They've just taken their TV model and brought it to an app. You have to download the app, but if you have the app, you get the same thing you see on TV. That's Commercials, if, you're smart, that's that's it, if your free. smart TV takes the app. Uh, smart, whatever. Or Roku or whatever I'm, you're I'm on. talking about here. Okay. Oh. At which point, I can, I, if, and, and if it doesn't, I can go ahead and I can just airplay from my phone. Have a nice okay, day. Okay, so I tried that the other day with my, airplane? I did not like it. You didn't like airplane? It I mean, not the movie, Airplane, no, no, Airplaying. Airplane. Right. I yeah. did it from my phone to my Apple TV just to kind of see. Yeah. And it, it is, yeah, I don't like it. Well, it, I, it's, it's too soft for me. It's fuzzy. Ah, uh, okay. But before we go too far, too, you know, when you talk about Airplane, mm -hmm. um, I recently purchased the Quest 2. Mm. And it has oh. the capability of wireless streaming you know how it has the link cable? Yeah. yeah. Like the Oculus? Yeah, yes. Okay. Now they've introduced wireless tethering to your PC. Oh, my now God. Now you can play your PC, your your Steam VR games and your o Oculus games that are PC-driven only. So all the Rift and Rift S games yeah, right. that required a cable wow. can now stream to the headset and get this. I have yet to see any major latency that would cause any issues yeah, it's it, it it's all based hmm. on your router. And if you can five G that thing, you're probably fine. There's a new update also that is supposed to increase the range on it to fifteen meters. Oh my god! Play space that you can create. Wow, that's that's good because man, normally you get a more than five no, this, five ten feet away. Yeah, you're done. No, you won't have no. It, it, it basically. Um, if you have like a triple band uh, network router, right? Yeah. You can leave yeah. one one five gigahertz band directly for the unit for the oculus for instance and then what you can do is they do require that or they recommend i didn't have it i had my pc on wi-fi mm -hmm. i still was able to stream but if you put your computer you know hardwired no latency it it, it sends i didn't have a hiccup in any of my games wow, wow that's pretty damn good and that's amazing. that that right there was a deal deal breaker that really made deal sense. maker for you yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that that's made sense awesome. Purchasing that. that is freaking awesome. And it's, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm, I mean, the stuff they're doing with this is just amazing. And now if you're not tethered. Oh, you're oh not tethered. God. Yeah, this is. And, that's and not, extraordinary. You ready for this? How about when you create the border that you're going to play in? And say, for instance, you're in your living room and your couch mm -hmm. is behind you. So obviously yeah. you're not going to draw your couch within that border or else you'll trip on it. Right. But to take a, a, a real-world item and bring it into your play space... That's cool. They allow you to draw on your couch and create a virtual couch in your virtual world that you literally go sit on. You can turn around and sit on it. Because it's overlays over your real couch. Right. So can you, can, you take, can, can you make your own setting inside there? Yes. So say if I, was, I, I wanted to do a studio... Wow. Yes, and I want a big, massive, big yes. screen that brings in my website, so I can people yes. put that on, and I can go. There's the website. Yes, you can literally be. You so can be in cool. it. You have virtual desktops, virtual virtual world. Yeah. You can. You you. It's. It's phenomenal. And you know, I'm. <sighs> it's getting ridiculous. The last time, I, it was a couple months ago. I was um, visiting number two son, and he's got, you know, the. Whichever one it is, I don't know. Uh, it's just amazing. And the weird thing is, I'm sitting here going, okay, yeah, I remember the room I was in, okay, when, when I tried it on. Mm -hmm. And there were shelves on the wall, and I could go take... I'm like, no, wait, that was the virtual room. That wasn't real. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it's in your head. You don't know. And as time goes by, it becomes as, as real and vivid and valid as any other memory you have from your life. Play... I'm playing. I'm playing a game. Uh, you know, the space training pirate 
Okay. Game, okay. I, I like cool. playing that. That's a cool game. It's like yeah. a Galaga type game. You're standing in one area. The aliens are coming at you. You're okay. shooting at them. You have a shield that you you put one of the handsets behind your back. You bring a shield up. You you know you look at it. It's like you're really there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But the thing is, is they're shooting lasers and stuff at you. I I'm being tricked to feel heat. And I feel heat. And I asked my wife just just to say, you know, do you do you feel that? Can you? Can you? And oh, by the way, yeah. it also can stream to the TV, yeah, or your phone right. as you're playing in it. So right. we can stream people. Playing. People can watch. Oh, we have yeah, we have we got to talk. So, right. anyways, just real quick though. But yes, the beams right coming at you. You feel the heat. Just psychologically, like a, psychologically it's, it's, you feel warmth. I yeah. feel warmth. Dang, that's pretty yeah. cool. It's the color, the red, and coming at you, and the way it comes at you for a split second, yeah. you feel a little yeah. zing through your body. Yeah, your your, your brain tricks you. Ready Player One is almost here. Yes, yeah. and I will tell you, and you I know did what? not think. Even better, because Ready Player One, you had, you had cables. Yeah. Yes. This is wireless. The, the, uh. <laughs> you believe it or not, the Quest 2, I, I thought, was more of a gimmicky type yeah. thing, because Facebook now owns Oculus and everything. Right. Okay, but when I got into it and realized what they've added and what it's capable of, and they don't yep. really talk about it enough. Believe it or not, if you look in the gaming world and what's what it's available and what you can do, yeah. there's a lot of... It's, it's pretty, you know... They're, they're kind of like, you know, mm-hmm. they're gamers. You're like, oh, yeah, you could do this and this. But they're not realizing how how much that technology has changed and yeah. what that means in, yeah. in, in today's world. Yeah. That's, it is extraordinary. I mean, this is not going to a movie with 3D glasses. No. This um, is, we got to talk I mean, because I have yeah. an idea for I mean, playing, playing the Matrix shows. game, that was wild, but it was. Tours. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Right? All right. So, anyway, so what's next, so, John? Okay, so. Now, I am a big fan of the Hubble telescope. That poor thing. But it may be the end of an era. Even with its corrective lenses. <laughs> yep. Because it has. Yeah. Now, now you're making yeah. me think. Like, it has. He's it got, has. It's got trifocals on now, folks. It's, yeah, it's got new glasses, and he, but, but they can't get it rebooted. Yeah. Did they try turning it off and turning it back on again? We should, we should send them that text. Hey, I'll bet off. you they've never thought of it. They're afraid to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> it, but that's the same reason everybody doesn't do that first is because they're afraid it's not going to come no, back first, on. No, they're they're afraid they're going to lose their web browser pages. Yeah, Damn yeah. it! It took me all week to find this one one web page. Yeah, as they have seventy zillion tabs yeah, exactly. up. Exactly. So oh, yeah, they're trying kids. to reboot it. Yep. Keep it alive. It's in keep alive mode right now. Yep. Uh-oh. Which is yeah, it's 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 on life support. That's, and that that's kind of cool. That's limp home but, mode when your car won't go over. 10 miles an hour and your transmission's not shifting properly, that's limp home mode. Folks. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so now the problem is, is we don't have mm-hmm. our shuttles. Yep. To go up there and fix Elon's it. Elon's almost there. Is he? Yeah. We, yeah. I, I'm telling you, the minute that, I look, I know, I know that they were getting sketchy. <laughs> Bezos like, like that. hey, I'll turn it off and on again for you for a price. Yep. <laughs> really? He'll go up and flip a switch on He's the side. He's going to go out there. They're going to be like, okay, now could you just hit the on button? <laughs> yeah, you got to I mean, have someone to go. <laughs> what I love is, I mean, they've been running, you know, flights back and forth to the space station, and but they haven't done any walks from a- any of the, uh, um, you know, Musk rockets. And oh, yeah. I just, I just think he'll be like, oh, hang on a minute. He comes back the next day. Okay, we got it. We can go ahead and do a spacewalk. We figured out how, and, and it's all set to go. We've already built the thing. We 3D printed it last night. We're all set. So <laughs> what do you want to do? You know, I mean, because th- look what he did with, with, with those kids trapped in a cave. In, was it Vietnam or the Philippines or something? Or uh, Singapore, was it? Yeah, or, and or, I mean, he was I, just all over no, that, no, developing so new that. technologies and new ways of getting in there. In hours, mm-hmm. they were inventing this stuff, building it and shipping it. Within hours. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this whole thing like, oh, we need to fix the Hubble. He's like, wait a minute. Okay, how's Thursday look? You know? I mean, that's what he'll do. It's just the way he rolls. He'll send one of the little Starlink uh, satellites up there to (laughs) take a detour. So here's what's really (laughs) happened. Investigators Mm -hmm. suggested that the computer ceased to function due to a degrading memory module. Who of us have not had that little error come up? I don't. Sucks. Oh, oh, oh! You mean on our computers? Yeah, I thought right? you were talking about us personally. No, no. Yeah, I think we all suffer from um, that. Have one. you expected NASA has three-day backup memory, uh, three backup memory modules 
It can be switched if the, if necessary, but the command to initiate the backup module also failed. Oh, you know why? Because they tried to log into this Wi-Fi network that had this that. Like percent P N percent percent N N P, and uh, and you know what? It was a Bezos satellite that went by it with that code, and they tried to log in, and that was that. Yeah. See, there you go. He it's, is Doctor Evil. Over Thirty years old. So am I. You got a point? Do you boot up all the time? Absolutely. <laughs> Some days I have a little hard time getting going. I want to kick it. My wife kicks me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But anyway, it you know it's you know I hope they get it fixed. I, really I hope do. so too. It's, it's been brought us, it's brought us yeah. some of the most if amazing. Not, we know a really good thruster company that can help you know deorbit it and bring it down safely. So well, there, there you, you go. go. Um, you just got to go up and plunk the thruster on the side. So we have that six minutes. You put this in yeah. here, right? I, this, Which one? This, this right here is uh, the critical. In 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 uh, oh, entities targeted for suspected Chinese yeah, cyber spy. This one. So what's going on here? What's happening is they have uh, dug a little deeper at some of the hacks. And what was the name of the company that was hacked a couple months ago? That everybody was like, oh, this is you, you know this pulse. Um, yeah, pulse. And uh, I just think of that as a nightclub. Sorry, <laughs> um, but the um, what they discovered was that this hack went deeper into a lot more things than they had anticipated and there's some some items in there energy companies Holy um crap. water water plants water you know distribution networks i mean there's just so many things in there that they found were actually invaded and hacked via this you know like oops sorry we didn't know that was there yeah you did verizon and got hacked. yeah verizon itself got hacked and so it went much further and much deeper than they announced. I'm not going to say that they knew. Um, we're just waited now three months. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, um, we found out that uh, we actually unleashed 12 demons from hell. Uh, you right. know, and um, <laughs> but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Watch this funny cat meme. Okay, you're good. <laughs> uh, you know, well, so that, that's normal. pretty much where we're at. Let's talk insurrection. Yeah. So, yeah, this was a much worse hack, and it exposed a lot more vulnerabilities. Damn. And there's there's a lot of very serious problems going on. I mean, when you're looking at water supplies, now we had uh, a hack here um, that fortunately was an accidental thing down in St. Pete, where they uh, somebody left a port open on their external, and it you know, messed up the, uh, the, the water mix ratio or something. And it's like, okay, well that was caught before it went too far. Um, but when you look at what they can do, what they can put in, you, you, you know, somebody was talking about, you know, hacking dams, who cares about that? Uh, you do if you live downstream mm -hmm. from that dam and they open the floodgates. Okay. You just wiped out a city. Right. And yeah, a, 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 a dam is a nuclear bomb, you know, waiting for that force to be released. He said a dam. <laughs> Adam. A dam. Hey, you know that? Wow. And see, these are the important things we learn here on this program. Thanks, kids, for watching. Uh, <laughs> I totally just like derailed that conversation. It did. Oh, my God. Thanks, a dam. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Adam is awesome. I'm gonna put an N at the end of your name so you get bleeped. <laughs> so what about what about these new antitrust bills? Mm, five uh, new antitrust bills that five? have been put on the table that look honestly, some of them look pretty damn smart. Okay, that's um, I'm I'm gonna actually pull them up on my phone here because I've already got that window open. Um, one of them, okay. Uh, the first one we have is the American Innovation and no. That's it. Yep. Innovation and choice online. Okay. Uh, cut off a competitor or uh, stopping anybody that buys or merges with a company. Okay. That ends up cutting off a competitor from being able to provide their services. So that would be like, like, you know, you make uh, spark plugs and your competitor makes spark plugs and you both sell them online so you go ahead and you buy his uh, data service company and you shut off his website mm. okay it's like no you're not going to do that okay um then they the platform competition and opportunity um this one here switches the burden of proof from 
where now uh, it is up to the state to prove that your you know buying of another company is going to create an illegal situation. Right. They now have to the the person buying has to prove that it doesn't create an illegal opportunity. Okay, or or, or uh, monopolistic situation. They have to prove it doesn't. That's tough. That's a burden of proof thing. That's kind of weird. Ending platform monopolies app. This one's kind of cool. Um, this one says that if you are in the business of doing X, you know, for all these other businesses, you may not then do all those other businesses' businesses on your platform. This stops Amazon from farming. It's sellers stealing their products and undercutting them and putting them out of business. That's what this one does. This one really lights me up because, I mean, the, the, the stories of that are just you know, heinous. And it stops anybody from saying, yeah, we're going to provide this platform for you so that we can data mine you and put you out of business. Okay, you know, we're going to charge you for it. We're going to, we're going to charge a fair price to put you in there. And then we're going to destroy you. That is what this one fights against. And the, uh, the last two, the augmenting compatibility and competition by enabling service switching act that's called access. Um, if you switch from one platform to another, whatever it is, you get to take your data with you. Just like transporting your phone number when you switch over. This says, okay, I've been selling everything on Amazon and now I want to go to eBay. I get to take my my information with me. You can't hold me hostage, Amazon, and tell me I have to go build it all somewhere else. Okay? No, this lets you take the information you have gathered and collected and move it. The last one is the merger filing fee modernization. They're basically going to jack up the fees for mergers and use it to enforce the other rules. Ah. So that's what we got. Those are five things that are on the table. Bam! And they're really designed to make sure that competition does not get annihilated by a merger or some other action mm. of a company. So we're, there we go. Now we're out of time. And we're going to save our tech fail of the week for next week because it's... Oh, this was our tech fail right here. This yeah. was our tech fail. We didn't leave enough time. There we go. So there you have it. So, hey, yeah. thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> hey, mini version. And you know what? Keep sending us in oh, uh, yeah. stuff that you want us to look Send at. Send us some like tech fails, too. There. Yeah, that's cool stuff. Um, it wasn't ad damn, though. I just saying, no, hey, we'll see everybody next a -dam. week. Have a techie week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.